Congratulations. Welcome, Barberton Esports fans, to a match against Hubbard High School. We can see them over in the red over there. And over in the blue, we've got our own Barberton Magics. It'd be interesting if we could change. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Sorry. I'm about to get into the weeds here when I should be introducing our players. We've got Thomas Cox, which is Tommy Boy, Ohio. We uh, subbed up from JV. We have Hysteria, which is Preston Maxwell. Sunwolf, Ryan McInerney. Yee, which is Mikey Brown. And then finally, Sleepers, which is Alec Wietrich. They're trying an interesting comp on this. A little bit of an all over the place comp, if I'm remembering correctly. Wrecking Ball, likely the first one here. I don't know much about Hubbard. I don't know if this is their first season or not, but ooh, that slam and that isolation on that sojourn. Nice quick picks, but oh, I don't see what, why, where did that kill happen? Oh, in the small room off the side there. Looks like uh, there was a fight by the med pack there. All the action's happening in this tiny little room. Looks like Barbara is isolating one, two, three, four. Nice picks from Preston there to finish them off. I think Tommy got booped. He did, but Barbara gets the revenge kill. I, I think he was going for the teleport after uh, after he went off, but it did not come out fast enough, and he did. Uh, nobody can beat the holes, right? So, Barbara taking position. Alec up here scouting a little bit. Ball notoriously difficult to deal with, just because uh, you have to really coordinate to deal with him. He's got such a huge health pool. Oh, if that slam had connected a little bit lower, that should have been the kill. But the rest of Barbara finishes right off there. This Junkrat should die here as this Arisa runs for the retreat. What a, what a deadly little space here. In the trap, Alec Wietrich, doesn't matter. They managed to get the kill off. Tommy Boy Ohio does die to the Junkrat spam, but uh, once again, Barbin trading very, very heavily in their own favor here. Also building alt economy much quicker, it looks like, than um, the enemy team. Their Sojourn really, really have not made a lot of impact so far. Risa trying to take space, but her team's getting pretty far away from her. I, I, I think that they need to connect a little bit closer. I think they should be taking heights instead of trying to fight in this hole. Especially when you have a Reaper and, uh... I guess that the Reaper and the, uh... Rig is a little bit of a problem. Well, that's why you don't go into a closed space when there's a Reaper sometimes. But also, they probably should have sussed that out. Not that they had any CC to deal with it other than perhaps the Spear, but I really would have liked to have seen them pay a little more attention from Hubbard there. Uh, when there's a Reaper, you need to always be aware of where he is. And if he's walking up into a crowd of you, he probably has ult, especially after the amount of kills that they've been putting out from Barbara. Damage over here. Oh, fighting 1v1 here. Sunwolf softens the one up. Hits the pick right in the face. Point blank range sniper. Second shot. You see a third? Almost there. Really, Ryan popping off. As Coach Ethan said, He's popping off. Not sure where the Zen ult comes out of here. I guess it's because... Uh, never mind, I know what it is. We were at 99%. Time to press Q and celebrate. Or press Q and confirm the win, basically. As soon as you're about 90% on these maps, these control maps, you, you really, if you have ults, throw them. Unless the other team may also have something that you may need to use them a bit more intelligently. But if you're winning, and you can just use the ults to prevent that last fight from even getting close starting, if you can hit Q to cancel out their Qs, uh, that's what you want to do. Let's roll us ahead here. Round two. Capture the objective. There's Hubbard rolling out to point. Barberton getting there a little bit faster with the aid of the Lucio. Barberton's going full, uh, full build here. We can see a lot of heroes that have repositioning abilities to take advantage of this hole. Alec Wietrich looks like he wants to play around hole to try to get some hooks off. Oh my god, look at that. Hog into hole. We've played Hog Hole many a time at Barberton, uh, which is an all hog, all hook map for fun. We haven't done it much this season. We've got to do that again soon. Uh, and I think that perhaps some of that uh, fun game mode has given some good training to Barberton. Really pressing forward. Sleepless could really die because he's not careful. Nice heals coming out. Is Tommy Boy Ohio teleporting this one out? He does. He does not get booped this time. It's the story of the revenge. I would be so scared if I was G in front of that big hog. Uh, really worried about it. Looks like. Uh, Tommy Boy challenging it here. He's wraithing out wisely, though. Alec Wietrich makes the call. They kind of just let them come back to, to hole. He says, let me put him in the hole again. Oh, this time it might be the other way around, but no hole is near that space. So, safe in this moment. Is the enemy team safe from him, though? No, their hog is in the hole. That, that's just the ultimate humiliation for another hog when you are put into the hole in that 1v1. They've just got to watch that a little bit more. Reaper's ult is off, but it's, it's, he's up in the air. 
don't know what caused him to go up so high. Perhaps a boot? Some uh, concussive junk rat uh, mine? I, I don't know. Well, something put him up in the air, though. Didn't generate as much value as perhaps they were hoping, but uh, was a very pretty Beyblade up in the air. Barb needs to be... I don't say too careful. They, I guess they are two ults on the enemy team, but Barbara's economy in general is still higher. They've got three ults about to come online. Enemy Junkrat throws out his tire. Uh, Yi gets the kill on the uh, junk, but not before uh, paying for his, with, with his life. I think it was a good trade, though, in that moment, to be honest. It, it The junk decided to get the revenge kill on him or kill the Lucio instead of perhaps putting it in a more advantageous spot for his team. That could have been a really big play. Oh, another one into the hole. Another one bites the dust here. Huge picks. And with this, I think Barbara's going to just close this one out. Beat comes out. Absolutely gets a save there. Uh, I think one of our heroes were about to go. I didn't see who it was. I saw some HP bar that was low in the commotion. Quick finish here. That Junkrat would have done better to either regroup his team or die there. Um, they just couldn't get it out in time. Losing their, their hog three times like that, though. Must have been very frustrating, very damaging to your mental. Um, and, and so much of Overwatch is a mental game, you know. That positive attitude and that, that, that confidence to go in and make plays, it, when you start to shatter that, it can absolutely take a team down an entire rank in terms of skill and ability, if not more, I feel. We saw that uh, when we played against uh, Shaker Heights. We don't have footage from the matches, unfortunately, but we played Shaker Heights in a, a tournament, and we got some maps from them, and we could tell on their on their map after they took a, a loss that they played so much worse than 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 what we're used to seeing out of them. And then they shook it off for, for game four and, and kind of kicked our butt there. But it just goes to show the point. Mental is so much of it. we got to keep those good mentals. And right now, after that, I, I think that Hubbard's spirits may be a little crushed. At least their hog is feeling probably a, a little rough after that. You know, that was that was some some good hooks from Alec Wietrich. Let's join Barberton and Hubbard in the next map now uh, in a moment. Hey, it's Overwatch. Hey, it's King's Row. Let's roll it ahead. We reduce a couple changes. We see that uh, we've got Fincher on the uh, tank roll here. Uh, this is similar to what we saw last week, a very similar hero comp. Only difference is we've got the Brig this time instead of the Zen. Uh, Yi is on, uh, which is Mikey Brown is over here, is on our support. Do we have any other changes? I think we have the same DPS as last time, just some changes to our support system. We don't have uh, Preston on this one, I don't believe, yet. We've got Ray Crowder, though, on the Brig. That spam up there is a little scary for Ryan, but he knows what to watch for. He's a junk main, and we can absolutely know, see that he, he knows how to dance around the uh, the fire coming up here. He knows what to look for. He also knows there's a Reaper here, and he knows to, to back off. That Reaper's not going to make that jump, most likely. There's a Reaper in the back line. Will Barbara respond to it? Pressure from the junk still. I'd like to see him collapse here. Barbara is a little discombobulated right now. Uh, Tommy gets a pick here. Fighting in the in the space in here for yeah I was gonna say Fincher totally cut off from the rest of his team Ryan putting down some fire from on high we're getting a little dicey for Barberton another pick on the support this is gonna hopefully even things up for Barberton going for this kill on this brig we really want to see her go down if I were this uh, diva I would have gone and supported over here ooh soldier comes out but it's a little too late they're gonna go for the pick. Not quite. Almost charges the trap. Luckily, does not. This soldier is dead. He's out of position. And uh, Ray on the back line kills a uh, Kirika who teleported in to perhaps support the soldier, but uh, really should have just said, you know what? The best way to support your team is to not be dead. Ult comes out from Ryan to turn on the wall hacks there. Barbaran sees everything that's going on here. Nice purple coming out, but the cleanse does remove it here. Ooh, up in the air, this junk rat. Oh, nice. Ult comes out from one team to counter the other. Purple's out here. Can we get that shatter built fast enough to do something? Tommy Boy Ohio says, never mind, I've got my ult. Let's, let's just use that one. And that's a great play here. Says, hey, this is getting a little dicey. We created two of our ults for one of theirs. We're getting the finish off on this diva. Uh, Tommy Boy does go down. Sunwolf gets the kill. 
Sunwolf sees this rig escaping. No one goes to follow here. I think they're maybe getting ready to fight this soldier. I know he's calling it out. I don't think you should try to 1v1 a hero like that this close to this a melee hero who can stun you and beat you up. You've been stunned and beaten up. That being said, while that was going on, the fight out here is still going well. Uh, for the most part, I would say, Barberton gets some picks here. Ult comes out from Ray to sustain this fight. Wall comes out. Uh, it cuts a little bit of the fight in half. Doesn't really provide too much to either team, though, I would say. Maybe cuts off a bit of the uh, Hubbard supports. However, that's more due to their mistakes in positioning and not necessarily the wall being that effective. Good shield coming up in the last second there for Ray as he heals up at the last moment. Tommy Boy Ohio and Yi getting some picks off here with a nice uh, biotic grenade. And then, of course, some icicles and sprays. I'd like Tommy to hold a little bit closer up here with his Ryan. He should be over here where they were playing before. It's simply just a good space to be. I think they're a little split up here. Nice. Team is separated here. These heroes should go down. I don't know if they'll get Teresa. Nice move beating up the pillar from the enemy team, but it was a little too uh, too little too late. They were not fast enough to really go that. Tommy picks off the Brig in the background. We hear a jump tower going out. He's going to get the picks. Answer is no. Shield up from Fincher and with the Nano. I really don't think that was probably going to get a finish there. Trying to get the last hammer swings. Can they get the kill? Yes, absolutely. That looks like a full team wipe. Is there anyone left? I don't believe so. Maybe Brig had respawned there quickly enough. Sunwolf did swap over the junk after they were last finished on the Widow, feeling that they want to do really more definitively finish this off. Nice ult coming out. Uh, the Brig ult is out, but it doesn't matter uh, because they're frozen. And it looked like Arisa almost had the touch there, but just couldn't quite get the connect. I don't think they would have been able to do it with their backline being so threatened and cut off by the Blizzard out of Tommy Boy, Ohio. Tommy Boy, Tommy Guy. Tommy, who is definitely in Ohio. Let's continue here. We've got another 10 seconds. This time is going to be Barberton's setup. You can see that they've got a all right setup here. I'd like this soldier to be either further back or perhaps on a high ground. This is fine. Where's their fifth hero? Am I missing somebody? Oh, this Junkrat's in the back line. This looks like a good place for a Junk to get killed uh, if they're not careful. And he's already half health. He didn't die there, but it doesn't matter too much. Tommy Guy, Ohio. In, or Tommy Boy Ohio in the back spraying down with his uh, <laughs> with his SMG here getting the Sombra out. we haven't seen Sombra from Tommy yet this season he's here he's really been working on and he wanted to give it a shot absolutely able to teleport jump around and also get these hacks off that are gonna just deliver huge damage increases for Barberton with this I think they should just put three on and get the cap though it looks like they are trading a little bit here trying to keep them off and didn't need the three after all uh, with that Barberton's map 2-0 to Barberton Will Hubbard stage a comeback in map three? Uh, let's see what they pick. Uh, map three is probably the most varied uh, set of maps that we usually see. It can be a lot of different options. Teams vary uh, different opinions on what map should be the go-to map. It's not like where King's Row is, is what we see so often for the second round. Um, so I'm really curious to see what we'll have here for this next round. Barberton Esports fans, we've got Havana, a map I don't believe Varsity has played on this season so far. We can see that Hubbard is getting ready. Well, Barberton over here, we've got the Sigma. Sleepless is back on tank. We've got Hunter Roland on the Ash, Ray Crowder on the Mercy, as per usual on that, one of their favorite heroes. And then in addition to that, we've got Hysteria on, uh, which is Preston Maxwell over in on this map on the... Ana. And who's our last hero here? Looks like we've got Tommy Boy Ohio on the Sombra over here. Try to see some of that Sombra we saw last game. Is it going to be effective on this map? I think the answer is could be. Let's see what happens. Teleport up. Oh, not quite where we thought. That's a nice. Well, it could be a nice, but I like to see it spread a bit more. But anyone peeking there might get a bit of laser in their face. Tommy Boy gets a pick in the back line. Is Barbara going to peek this and perhaps get a little tickled? Oh, getting tickled, but wisely. Uh, Hunter Roland says, nope, I'm not going to die here. And backs out. Sleepless eating and building the shield as the enemy uh, Bastion just keeps spraying into it. Really should have just said, I'm not going to keep powering up this Sigma shield. But instead said, I like clicking. And kept uh, kept firing away. Nice rock almost connects there. This Ryan should die. He's asleep. He's purple. Can we kill this guy? Barbie says, let's kill this man. With the hack out and the damage amp, it doesn't matter if the Mercy's hooked onto him. They're dead. Unfortunately, Preston does get picked in the back. A nice stop of the res from the enemy team. 
but uh, we're still down one support. We've only got the Mercy. A lot of heals, but oftentimes sort of singular in their uh, focus, right? It's hard to spread the Mercy around. It doesn't mean that Ray can't accomplish the mission, of course. It just means it is a tougher task for a Mercy to sustain the whole team when one of the supports is down. Oh, Monkey up here sleeping, unfortunately, woke just by the last moment. Don't want to don't want to have a woke monk. Pressing, being supported by his support. Nice moves here. Can Ray get out? Yes. Purple goes out against this enemy. Uh, Lucio, Barbie a little discombobulated here. Tommy Guy Ohio trying to get the kills in the back line, but is punished. Is not able to put the damage out. Looks like Barberton might have to give up this first point. They're gonna get this monkey. It looks like maybe not. No, with the beat out. I think this is I think this is Hubbard's point here. You'll love to see it. Let's get some let's get some challenge up here. Big pickup here. Are they gonna get some kills? I think they're gonna get two here. Yes. Maybe they can stop this cart from testing. Alec Wietrich contesting, contesting. A lot of ults coming out from Barberton though. I think the call for hack was made. Tommy said, I'm gonna hack. And uh, the captain had called out, yeah, go ahead and do that. And he goes, oh wait, no, but it was it was too late. They 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 realized too late they had already won the fight and unfortunately wasted the hack, which could have been very useful for whatever this next hold's gonna be. So now Barberton down in ult economy. Look at these three alts coming out. Uh, if it was three to two, I think they could do it. Let's hope that uh, Hunter Roland can get a bob out here, perhaps to uh, to hold maybe on this corner here, maybe over here, just somewhere that they're gonna have a little bit of cover. Oh, there's the monkey ult, you see it. A wall comes down. Are we gonna see this bob? He had the hack here, could disable this wall, but instead, Sleep is cut off. Stare it down, Tommy Boy Ohio gets a pick. Bob is out, he's doing something. Can we crack this monkey shield though? The answer is yes. With the changes now, when Ash shoots somebody, that is going to refocus Bob. Unfortunately, no picks from it, but did keep them off the point for all. Getting focused down, unfortunately not supported enough here. The support heading into the tank rather than the DPS. I think it was the right choice there, but uh, perhaps the coach gun, if it was off the point, could have repositioned there. It looks like first point of the day for Hubbard. Well, not nice for Barberton, but nice for heating up the, the stakes in this match. Remember, Barberton has already succeeded. If they lose this match today, if Hubbard reverse sweeps them, they'll still make it to playoffs for Barberton, but it will certainly damage their positioning for the seeding for the regional playoffs. So Barberton very much does not want to give up a single map here. If they do, it could really affect who they have to face in the final rounds at the regional playoffs for states. Tommy Guy, Ohio, Tommy Boy, Ohio, Boy, guy, I just Tommy. Tommy gets a pick. Tommy gets a second pick. Hack comes out, and Tommy says, let's kill their whole team. Not by himself, of course, with the help of friends. And that's exactly what they do. Going for the monkey, a little aggressive here. I think he's going to pay for his life with this. Yeah, uh, with the health kit over here, even without that, a monkey is a pretty hard target to take down. Bad target choices for Tommy guy. I think he had blood in his eyes, wanted to say, I got the five kill. Uh, but that was not the move. Instead, he got the one dead, which that would be him. Barberton quickly taking down the turrets here as they come out. Dragon comes out from the enemy Hanzo, but connects onto nothing. It was just barely a little too in front of sleeves. Either way, he could have walked that back. Interesting to go for the flank dragon, but really needed to be maybe over here, perhaps. Using Barberton's back line over here. Uh, I, I think it was a neat idea, but the positioning was not right. Ray Crowder on the brig with the ult, keeping Barberton sustained through the fight here. They do lose some in the back line, of course, unfortunately. Uh, Hunter Roland on the Reaper now. Good choice against this monkey, but unfortunately, uh, being a little isolated, the team, the team won the fight that mattered, but it is sad to see someone go down. Oh, is Ray going to be able to get out of here? Yes, with the dash. Monkey's going bananas, but I don't think Barberton cares. Well, maybe they do. Ray's still living. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, with the ram all out. Alec Wietrich, Nano 2? A little bit of overkill. I don't know if the Nano needed to come out here. I think just this ult's enough. But at the same time, it does make him a pretty blue cone. Ult's coming out from Hubbard. Fight is like taking place between two spaces. I don't know where to look on this. But right now, I do know where to look. It's looking at this monkey that should die. And he does. Now they should be able to get the finishes here. Nice hack to prevent the ice block, etc. 
Lucio's probably gonna walk it out of here. Tommy Boy does not chase this time. Thank you, Tommy. Do not pass go. Do not collect your death for overextended, overextending. Turrets disabled. These turrets are not really in a place where the fighting's gonna be for the most part. Nice, huge hack coming out, immediately countering the sim wall. Oh, they pull out the cleanse, big there. But with Ray's ult, it should be able to help Barber to sustain through this fight and finish up the enemy team. Even takes a turret down just for good measure. Blizzard comes out, but all it's gonna do is give us some pretty statues to look at as we say, wow, isn't that a nice uh, victory pose for our team? Well, I shouldn't celebrate just yet. We do have to push it, and we have to get it past the first point. This is not like the previous map where it's just a single tick. Hubbard did a great job pushing up through Barberton there. Uh, I think Barberton had mismanaged a few ultimates, and then uh, Hubbard also had some really nice picks. I think that uh, they had they had some good pressure on the back line with the monkey, and with the Ash, great hero right away, but once the monkey came out, I think we maybe could have seen the swap to Reaper sooner, um, though we did get some value from the Ash for sure. So I don't, I don't mean to say that the Ash was the wrong choice. I just think that the Reaper swap eventually was the more right choice. And I think it goes to show that as Barberton did manage to uh, succeed as they uh, were on that second point. Let's see what kind of thing they got here. Torb, okay. This is uh, enemy team has Torb as well as it looks like a Sim still. Love the Sim, it looks like. They're, they're a big Sim fan. Barberton pushing forward. Tommy. Unconventional Widow, not usually sure if he has, but able to get some picks on the Torb and the turret. Alec Wietrich running the ball. That's pretty normal for him. Definitely a, a standard ball player. Uh, you know, for a hero. With this Discord Orb off, falls off, can they get this Zen? Yes. Only the monkeys left. I think Barbara's just going to walk this up. Ray and Asteria. Ray and Preston riding cart. Taking a car ride. Harvard holding them the back here. I really think they should just push into this. There's still bash turret mode. Tank mode. Spray them down. I, I think the fear is in them a little bit here. But perhaps they should be afraid as the monkey goes down. Could not get the support on them. Where are their supports? Oh, they're over here. They can't sustain. Uh, this Zen is not the pick here. Barbara's just putting out too much damage. That's not enough heals. Nice pick from Tommy. I don't know if the Widow is needed here anymore. These close quarters makes it a lot more difficult for Widow to get value in this space sometimes on uh, offense. Maybe if they take this high ground, I guess they are going for an aggressive space here. Now that they've taken this fight though, Widow can be a little bit aggressive here. They can look for these picks. With Ball to kind of screen the, 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 the players back, nice minds to separate out. Keeping two supports on for now. Getting ready to support their team if they need it. Ray moves forward. Preston still riding cart, keeping it pushing forward, bringing about the inevitable toward Hubbard. Can they get on this cart? I don't think so. They're going to try to go for a touch in the back line, but it's going to be too little too late. Diva went for it, but just, just couldn't get there, unfortunately. Hubbard, like some of other Barberton's opponents this season, uh, takes the uh, the loss. 3-0 for Barberton. Hubbard, great uh, starter round on Havana. Nice job shaking up to a map that Barberton is not as familiar on. Really good moves there on that last round. However, uh, Barberton, unfortunately uh, for Hubbard, has taken the win. Barberton, unfortunately for us Magics, uh, they're 7-0. They're they have gone undefeated in the regular season against their standard opponents and are going to advance to regionals. We hope you will join us uh, for the regionals. We will not have a recast of those matches, most likely. Rather, instead, we encourage you to join the live cast or view the VOD afterward. They will be posted um, on our site uh, for eSports for Barberton High School. Please take a look at that when they become available. And we really hope to see you uh, there in the comments section uh, or uh, during the live feed, you know, in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat if it's a YouTube live. Please, please, please go out and support the Magics. They've had an amazing season. I think the team is looking stronger than ever, and we're really, really hungry for that state championship. Let's see if they can get there. They have to go through regionals first, and I will say with, with complete confidence that Northeast Ohio has the strongest uh, group of regional teams for Northeast. It, there, There is... So many powerhouses, Akron Stem, Shaker Heights, 
uh, Barberton ourselves. And then I believe there's one or two others who, who have been improving. I, I don't have their names handy with me right now. Uh, but we've, we've got a few other sleepers in the other regions. But that's someone we need to meet, meet at States. We have to make it through the gauntlet of regionals first. Will Barberton do it? And what might that regional set of matches look like? I don't know, but I'm hoping to see some, uh, some magic happen, if you know what I mean. With that, thank you so much for watching, and go Magics!